feel Cleveland is a little thing we've thought up to bring people to Cleveland because not a lot of people want to. My friend Mikey Arnold came and uh, approached myself and Jesse Bassett from the Gas Box, a local custom motorcycle shop, and he said he uh, had an idea to do a gallery show with motorcycle photographers in the, uh, in the Midwest. So to bring people here and see what we're all about and that there's a lot of cool motorcycles and builders in the Midwest that we can bring, you know, it's good. And uh, we were kind of just brainstorming ideas and decided um, to just do a full bike show. And it's, if we're going to put the effort in, we might as well do the whole enchilada. It's funny, we're at the Brooklyn Invitational, and I told Jesse, I was like, I could really see us doing something like this. Like my photography, a couple of your bikes, put it in an art gallery setting, get some beer, and have some friends out, you know? I've worked with Tyler and Jesse here and there with the different photos and stuff, but it never was like serious. And, you know, We've become real close friends over the last six months working on this, but the whole idea was, if we're gonna do something, let's do it right. So let's invite a ton of people that build bikes and own awesome vintage bikes and choppers and get a little mixture of everything, not just one you know, solid thing. He's like, bring all your photography friends. So I brought all my photography friends that I possibly knew, got them to send me a bunch of photos and we printed them off, put them in the frames. And then we're like, what else is there artistically wise? Oh, painting, let's get some helmets painted because you know, Bitwell's good friends of ours and they donated. And it just turned from a little baby show idea to a monster of a thing. You know, it's pretty fucking awesome. I got in uh, yesterday to get set up and right when you walk in the place, it's got such a cool vibe to it. You know, the mix with the sort of industrial neighborhood, like where I am in Brooklyn, it's, it kind of used to be like that. I sort of missed this feeling, you know? I like that there's um, the photography is being displayed as well. Like some, just uh, encompasses it all really nice. Great space, that warehouse is really cool. Nice light. And it's really raw and people come in and they, they take something that nobody really cares about anymore and they make it something special. And that's kind of what this space feels like and what this event feels like. Oh, the show's great. I love this building. We love Cleveland. We've never been here before. Yeah. Everything looks great in there too. A nice variety of bikes. Sometimes I forget that there's bikes that are choppers, so it's cool to see what some other guys are up to too. And then with the, you know, the bikes and the artwork and the photography in there, it just it just ex explodes once you walk in the door. Um, you know, it's like a sensory overload. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I went to buy another bike, and uh, when I bought the other bike, uh, this gentleman told me that, he said, all these parts go with it. And he opened his pantry, and he actually had enough parts to build a, another motorcycle. So <laughs> so um, I built this one last winter, just out of all these boxes and boxes of parts. I tried to just leave it how it was, whatever paint was on it. Um, I was missing a couple things. I didn't have any sheet metal, uh, no wheels or seat. Actually, the chassis is 1940, but he took the, the, the original 40 EL motor and put it in his other bike that I bought. And then he had this other 47 FL motor just there. He had acquired it somewhere and he had a title for it and everything. I got to find out a little bit of the history of the motorcycle uh, from the gentleman I, I'd gotten it from. It originally, a uh, farmer had bought it back in, uh, I think, 1940. and rode it around during uh, World War II during the gas rationing. And then he wrecked it, I think in 47 or 48, and just left it outside in a field. And then people used it for target practice. It's got a bunch of uh, bullet holes and things in it that I patched up. Um, and, then, uh, and then someone was taking it to the scrapyard and this guy saved it. I think he gave him 200 bucks for it. A little hot rod shovel head, uh, it was a FLH 83. All cut down, yep. Mullins frame. It's painted up like uh, an old Pete and Jake's hot rod, the California kid. And there's an old uh, bike that kept popping up in Easy Rider, the Detail Freak. Got a lot of influence from there. Uh, old Pat Kennedy stuff, anything Pat Kennedy did was really cool. It's kind of got a like an early 80s vibe, where it's still choppery, but performancey too, you know? 
I'm currently riding my 96 uh, 1200cc Sportster and I finished it on Thursday so I've been riding it for two days now this season. Well last year I had added a swing arm mounted fender and that was a huge undertaking that was like my first time really getting into the bike uh, and I, I knew how to weld prior but I really started to get more into TIG welding and then this year I hardtailed it uh, with Mike 47's hardtail which is awesome and it, then it was just kind of all the accoutrement that comes after that, which, I mean, I finished earlier than last year. So that was a, felt good. <laughs> a 63 pan built by Jeremiah at Love Cycles in Phoenix. Originally I traded a friend for a panhead about 10 years ago, uh, an old BMW and panhead was pretty ugly. So at some point when I moved, was moving to Philly, I worked a deal out with Jeremiah and ended up with this. I uh, brought up 42 WLA that I converted to a, a beach racer for the uh, race of gentlemen. Uh, I've had it for about 15 years. It came out of Russia. It was all original, and uh, I have all the. I have all. I, I was meant to restore it, and it's, I've just been pushing around the shop for 15 years. And uh, like a month before the race last year, my buddy kind of pushed me into get you know rebuilding the whole thing for the race so we did the whole thing in 30 days we got got it ripped it ripped it apart broke the engine apart and started hunting for parts and then uh, 30 days later we fit we fired the bike the day before the race at midnight and then had to get down there the next day never rode on sand never raced never rode the bike before it was crazy, but we, we, we did good. And uh, we, I think we did like 12 heats and we won four. And then we're building a new motor and transport this year and we're gonna, we're gonna run again. I'm really thankful for Jesse and Tyler, all their help with this entire event, and without them, this wouldn't be possible. And I'm super stoked that and honored to have this going on in Cleveland. So far, I think the show's going killer. Uh, every few feet, someone stops and it grabs me and says, hey, thanks for putting on the show. And uh, almost everyone I talk to seems to be from out of town, which is cool. Um, just last night, when we were still doing load-in from uh, and bikes in the show, and a lot of guys were hanging out. It was just a good vibe, you know. Just like um, you just tell it was gonna be a good show. Just got from the energy. It was awesome. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I've been to Cleveland in a couple of years. I've always liked the town. It's got a it's got a really good vibe to it. Uh, it's great architecture and the people here are really cool and everything. And, and it's just really cool to see like all these guys who we've heard about and see their adventures and see what they came to show and just like their top. I guess it's their top ten photos from the past few years. So. It's, it's awesome. I've seen lots of bikes ripping around town and normally you don't see many bikes just cruising around. And there's groups of guys all over the place. So I knew it was gonna be a good turnout just from, from that. I've been friends with uh, Mikey and, and Tyler and everybody for, for years. And you know, they said they're doing a show. And it, they, everything they do is, is top notch. So I didn't expect any less from the show. It's really good. Overall, I'm just, grateful and honored that so many people want to come out and support this and we're hoping to do it every year so 